Hey, I'm Francis, and today I am going to continue working on my Astral Cauldron project. So, I already finished the music, and uh, I just received a very, very exciting email today. Let's take a look at it. At this point in the video, I'm going to display the Instagram messages that led to this album art. A common rookie mistake is to be rude to someone that you're hiring for your project. Just because you're giving them money doesn't mean that they are going to do whatever you want. Okay, check this out. I got the artwork for my album. So, the art was done by Spaghetti Quester and it is gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to download these attachments and decide which one I want to use as my, uh, as the artwork for my cassette. Let's download these. Oh cool, the black and white version is pretty cool too. Awesome. Great, now that I've got these downloaded, I'm gonna bring these into my folder for the project. YouTube, Astral Cauldron, images. Um, actually, I'll make a separate folder for Uh, album cover. Fantastic. And then I can bring this stuff in here. Cool. <sighs> Alright. Now all I need to do is find the correct template. And I think it might be one of these. Hopefully. So uh, let's see what happens. Outside with bleed. If I bring it into GIMP, which is a free program, um, I want the resolution to be at 300. So it's print resolution, import. And I think this is the correct template for a cassette. Yes, looks delightful. Okay, um, I don't remember which of these I like the most. And mm -hmm, it's quite large. Oh, I'm not a graphic designer, so please excuse me. This is the DIY way of working. Okay, so basically what we need to do is get this image onto the cover. and put like a logo on it or something. I don't have a logo yet either, but that's okay. I'll make one. Hmm. That looks fine. I'm gonna make the opacity lower so I can see where this lives in comparison to the bleed. So it's still a little bit big. I kinda need to get it into those uh, dotted lines. So I'm gonna make it smaller still. And this will actually leave quite a bit of space for a, for typesetting, um, which is good, I think. Okay, um, that looks pretty solid. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do, uh, I should've done this first probably, is to bring in some markers, just so I don't mess this up too much. Ugh. Good enough. Okay. Um, I guess I should probably have markers that go out to the edges too. Well, I'll just make that a solid color. Markers for the spine of the world mountains here. Cool. Um, and the back. Awesome. Okay. Now I just have to figure out what I'm doing here. And I think that the answer might be um, to create a new layer and um, uh, 
basically, um, I accidentally opened another program. <sighs> basically chop this up so that it fits. I think I'm going to do a sort of a um, border. So I'm going to chop pretty liberally here. I, I hate cutting off pieces of artwork, but I think this is what I'm going to do as a designer. And that right side looks okay, I think it was the edge of the page. Great. And I might need to do some type of um, contrasting. Let's see what happens. I might not have black as the background for the cassette either. This is just kind of like a, a tester right now. And um, I am going to crop the content on this layer and Probably make some type of markers for my thing, something like that. I have no idea what I'm doing. <sighs> this video is gonna be like two hours long. What if I made the background white? What would that do? Mm, I don't like that. I'm gonna bring this border out like six pixels on each side. Okay. And then I'm just gonna ditch everything around that. Oops. I guess the idea here is to make it look like a dungeon synth album without using a border template. I like these bold, solid colored borders anyway. Okay. That's what it looks like right now. Pretty cool. Maybe I will get a border template. <laughs> Gothic border template. Whenever you do this, it's important to search for um, something that is uh, under some type of Creative Commons license. Um, It's really shitty to steal people's art, basically, is what I'm saying. Do any of these things look cool? Uh, evil border template. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Um, ooh, that's cool. I don't know what it says though. I don't trust myself to pick something that... I'll use this. Save it. And... Um, design assets. Let's bring this in and see how small it is. Okay, it's not too bad. That's actually probably perfect. Um, I'll make that on top and I don't want to see this. And I am going to make this really big and this does damage the quality. Don't worry about that. This is dungeon synth, not professional um, stuff. Um, unlock that. Scale that down. Where does this fit on the template? Oh, that's cool. Bring this down. Oh yeah, this is getting there. Um, bring the opacity down on that blue layer. Um, tempting to bring the opacity down on the white of this layer. <sighs> Disgusting. Need that white, okay. Good to know. This then needs to be 
adjusted in uh, brightness and contrast, I think. Doesn't look good at all. Next. I'll do something else with it, I guess. How does that look? On track to be better. Um, yeah, I actually do like that a lot. Looks cool. Then the absolute outside is this. I kind of want the outside edges to be like black. This is going to take a little while. God, what a fucking pain in the ass. Pretty good, sort of. Hmm. Next step, I think, is going to be, God, I want to try to make it look like this drawing is on the same texture, which is going to be really hard to do without damaging the drawing. Um, this is a great time to save. Oh, I didn't even finish up here. And... Ah, uh, what do I need to do now? Make it cooler, right? That's the, always the problem, is making stuff cool. Next up is typesetting. Um, uh, would you buy that tape at the store? Uh, maybe. It would never be sold at the store. Um, I don't want to dwell on it too much, so I will not. How's that? Just leave it. Astro Cauldron. Looks good. Awesome. Okay. Here's the hard part is I need to get this image. God. Um, I want this. Cool. I'm done with that. Done with that shit. Okay. Next up is to make this text look a little bit less normal. Um, I'm try to scuff it up a little bit.
Okay, that looks great. Um, that's going to be our outside cover. Save that. I'm going to do a save as. Inside cover. Inside cover is correct. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Cool. Okay. Sweet. That's about all for right now. Okay. I am expecting that I will have cut that one into like a three second video because almost none of it was usable, but um, I'll do little pieces of each part of it and um, that's pretty much the last bit of um, making a cassette. I guess I should probably make a band camp layout. Maybe I'll do that next time. I'll take a break for now though. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Thanks for watching.